It has been a very interesting road, or better said, a rabbit hole, when it comes to the Pandora's Box machines. There are a lot of different ways to play, and particularly when you're looking at the official line. Yeah, with this official line, it's more like the Terminator franchise. It makes no sense whatsoever after watching a couple of movies. And that's the same with the Pandora's Boxes. We have all kinds of different versions, but even with the original timeline or the original product line, it's absolutely one big mess. So as making this video, I am still waiting for my Pandora's Box 10th edition to arrive. So we did talk about also like the features, but some things has been changed. Not with the main board itself. The board is as is. And what I understand though, they are still working on some updates in the future. We all need to see what is going to be happening. There are basically two different kind of versions I'm showing over here. We also have the family edition with different kind of cables. But also we do have the Gemma version that you can slap into your arcade machine. So one of the new features of the tent at Pandora's Box was that we're having like an option to add light guns. Unfortunately, when making this video, there is still like a lot of uncertainty about this, when it's going to be available and also what kind of pricing. So the kit that I basically like showing you before is going to give you everything that we're going to need when it comes to the family, but also the Gemma edition. So we can just plug it in in your arcade machine and maybe also we can use it like in game system. That is something I'm really yeah, less like, curious about what are we going to get with the new 10th version. Yeah, the main board is already out, so we can basically like try it out. I already mentioned I'm, I'm still waiting for mine to check out to review. And yeah, the kit itself was priced for $299. Don't know if this is going to be happening in the future and when it's going to be happening. But I'm really curious about the general quality also when it comes to the light guns. And we do have foot pedals. That's something you don't see very often now. But the competition is going to be more aggressive. One more technology has their own kind of different, let's say, kit that you can buy. I've been talking with her to get an idea what it is and I'm just still thinking about getting it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review this. What I also understand, you cannot use this with any joysticks or gamepads. So that is a little bit unfortunate. I'm hoping that they are wrong, but I think they're not. And this is also in JAMA version, not like the family edition of the Pandora's Book 10th. So when you want to use this, you should like add this to your arcade cabinet or have like a Pandora's Box that is JAMA ready. So where they are like having a deal of $2.99 with the Pandora Book 10th. I don't know if this price is going to be in the future, but we did have like a reload foot pedals. The foot pedals are not included, what I can see with this kit and this picture. So unfortunate, we are having less, let's say, products in the kit. And also when it comes to the pricing, I don't know exactly how much it's going to be retailing. I also don't know if they're going to sell it on AliExpress at this moment. If you are interested, you should contact them directly and ask them to ship them through, let's say, FedEx or let's say DHL. But I can tell you, the kit itself is not going to be that cheap like the Pandora Box 10th edition. So where are we having the option with the Pandora Box 10th and Gemma version, but also in family. And what I want to say is like, you can use this thing actually like in game system, plugging a controller or player games like this. And if you want to use light guns in the future, you can also maybe use this like in game system. Maybe they are going to make a game system it would even be more cooler than having like this red box. But as making this video, there was no news about the light guns and there was already the competition, having a kit ready and has quite some interesting things to it. But I also wanted to talk about the one more. I cannot get myself the arcade itself because it's way too expensive to get to ship one piece. But when we're going to take a close look at this 26 inch Pandora Gun Max light gun machine. Woo, that's a mouthful. It comes with some interesting, let's say, pieces of, let's say, equipment. First of all, it comes with 170 plus, let's say, light games. This is like the normal cabinet. And I would not be surprised I'm going to see these cabinets in my local vendors. Simply because they will send them out worldwide. Eight button layout. It comes even with a trackball. Oh, by the way, two light guns will even have like a recall. Oh, this part of the video, I really love it. Look at slapping on the buttons. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. But nevertheless, we do have like a beautiful RGB lighting trackball for an, a lot of different games. You can switch out everything like with the previous models of the arcade machines I have reviewed. A beautiful light-up marquee with a little bit of a shadow effect up top and at the bottom. Of course, the, <laughs> the old famous tiny, let's say, amplifiers that we've seen before. I personally really hate those, let's say, metal or chrome looking roses. At the side, we do have like holders or you know, gun holders. It's nothing really fancy. But again, what I do like about it, you have like a D-pad so we can navigate through the menu. 
So I really like the way how this light gun looks and what we actually can do. And there is even, when you're having like an arcade machine of theirs, an option to turn on and off the recoil if you want to. So this thing does come with a lot of different games that we can play. But when you're looking further, they have some other cool models. The main reason I wanted to show you this, this gives like a very clear idea of what it can also do when it comes to the controls. The main board seems to be supporting four player configuration but also two light guns. So this when I say new kind of a looking one, it's more like a pedestal with an extra cabinet with a beautiful display in it. I really love the configuration but we do have like two players for eight buttons and two players for four buttons. But of course more than enough, especially when you want to play some games like Turtles in four player mode. They do show often a lot of these old school games that we have seen many times before on the older Pandora's boxes. But I'm really curious how it's going to be with the light guns. Here they're also showing it how it actually works. In the middle we're going to get one single sensor and that's it. But I can tell you that I did see the software already before. They called the Pandora's box Alpha or something. They are claiming having exclusive custom light guns with this machine. So I'm curious how good the quality overall is when it also comes to the recall function. I have seen some of the games that were on here. One of them, they are showing House of the Dead, of course, but they are claiming having Point Blank, Time Crisis, a lot of familiar titles. I don't think they will use, let's say, like the newer shooting games. Think about, let's say, a Transformer game or whatsoever from Terminator. I don't think they will run it on here. This is more like the older 90s like light up games. Not a big deal, of course, because they are absolutely great. So it would be great to get myself a kit and just to try it out for myself. And this is really cool to get. So they are showing off PlayStation Portable God of War. It's kind of funny in the video they told that like arcade games work well, but actually they are running a PlayStation Portable game. Of course, they didn't show any specifications if they tweaked it or of course it is a question like is it any good when it comes to upscaling etc etc and how far can I push it including PlayStation 2 gaming. But uh, because in my opinion PlayStation 2 would be a very cool addition to an arcade machine at home with a kit like this. And it will even open up the gateway to PlayStation 2 light guns maybe. Nevertheless I'm really curious what this main board can play. There are many ways to play and we're going to get light guns with the Pandora's boxes and yep there was nothing like a major information out there. We're still waiting for it. The competition is already here. So far there is no news whatsoever of the new kit they're going to be delivering and how much will it in the end cost. You do need to have two sensors where with one more time technology we're only having one sensor. So I'm curious which one will be accurate and of course what will be the price difference and also the quality of the light guns. Which one will be better? Let me know in the comments what kind of kit do you want to get and what is the maximum price you would give for a kit complete with everything that is coming with it. I want to thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell and I will keep you up to date if something new happening. And of course, maybe I will pick up the kit itself and just check it out for you. And is it actually something cool to slap in your kit machine?